so, Bill, I was hoping you could just give us a little bit about yourself and a little bit about your company you're with. Yes, uh, my name is Bill Beatty with Earl L. Henderson Trucking. Uh, we are based out of Caseyville, Illinois, and we have a refrigerated carrier, run approximately 360 trucks and roughly 400 drivers. Uh, we're an irregular route, 48 state carrier, and we all primarily produce, frozen food, and bread of all kinds. Excellent. And so, as far as the Infinity program, what were you doing before you went to the Infinity program as far as safety training goes? Safety training was uh, hit or miss at best. But we were using ProTread, and uh, we had very little luck, if you will, with the ProTread system. Um, we had videos that were a little bit long, and the average attention band for drivers was not quite there. So um, we decided to look for something else, and we were highly recommended for Infinity I. Great. So what, what factors really played a role in, in switching from, from the competitor to us? The, the video content, the video catalog was the, the main reasons. We, uh, we felt like the videos were short to the point and they also had the feature where the uh, questions at the end and they had to get an answer. They had to get it correctly. And that's what we were looking for. Something short where they wouldn't have so much time spent and uh, it would keep their attention. Super. When you rolled it out, was it a smooth rollout? What challenges did you face? We had several challenges, actually. Uh, we began in April of 2011, and at that time we didn't have a whole lot of drivers that had the, uh, the technology and electronics they do today. We uh, struggled with some and had never even used a computer, actually. But uh, we worked through that. The, uh, we set up some terminals in our own yard to where they could utilize and do the training there. And we also had feedback, kickback from some of our contract drivers. Okay, so you do have company drivers and independent contractors? Yes, we run, uh, at that time, we were roughly 50-50 in contractors and company. Okay, so with your contractors, did you have in their contracts that they had to do safety training? We did have in the contract where they needed to do safety training. But even still, with anything new, they're always going to balk at it at some point. We went through this with Qualcomm, went through it with e-logs, and we went through it with online safety training. So how long do you think it took you to get to, I guess let me ask this question, what is your current participation rate, you know? Yes, sir, it's 100%. Okay, so how long did it take to build up to that level? Probably at least two and a half years. Two and a half years. We've been uh, about four and a half now. Okay. And what was it technology? The Obviously now smartphones are more prevalent amongst drivers. What do you think that you contribute that build up to be or the reason for it? The, uh, the company, Infinity, I'm sorry, Infinity I, they actually added the Android and where we could have drivers to could access it through their tablets, their computer, and their handheld cell phones. So we actually uh, started increasing when that feature became available. Okay. How did you introduce it to your drivers? Several ways. We utilized, uh, of course, fleet message to the fleet, but we started with some of our senior drivers, drivers we knew would commit and buy in, and by doing that, that helped to uh, to get the others to come on board, kind of like we did with the other setups. The, uh, the bottom line, if our senior drivers and our best drivers out there were spreading the message, they bought it. Yeah. Any, any questions so far, if y'all have any questions, if you just want to raise your hands. Tom. How often did you use the videos for training? Was it on a monthly basis or a quarterly basis? Because the videos are five, six, seven minutes long. We initially we started by uh, one video per month. We've actually doing two, or three videos now per month. We do it monthly. Good question. Tom. Do you offer any kind of incentive or bonus for them to complete so many lessons? We do not. We do not offer incentive. 
question. Okay, um, so you, you have the program released or launched, and their response to me was that they didn't want to do it. Uh, so you convinced their the senior drivers and the influential drivers to do it. Um, <laughs> Friday night stock or Wednesday night stock, two days night stock. <laughs> some <laughs> night, right? Some <laughs> night stockyards. Uh, so, how do you currently manage the program? We have uh, one of our safety personnel that actually uh, signs the videos each month, uh, maintains the follow up on the completion rate, and uh, we do it in house. Initially, okay. when we started, it was a third party administrator, but we do it in house. Yes, sir. What was your, uh, with ProTread, you said you used them for a while. <clears throat> it was just the length of the, the training lessons that swayed you this way, or just the content, what was it? We had, uh, actually, we're, we were recommended to come on to Infinity through a third party consultant. And uh, we viewed it, we loved it, we implemented it. Now, so you're managing it in-house. Do you know how how much you're leaning on the vertical line screw client services to help out, or are you doing it solely your, yourself? The, we, we do a lot of that ourselves, but I will say that the staff at Vertical Line Screw is awesome. <coughs> Every week, I get a check-in call from our representative, Pam, and then... I mean, <laughs> it was me. Pam and um, Amanda. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're under a lot of stress, right? They have, no, they have a wonderful editing group. I'm going to see how good they are. <laughs> Here's a test. <laughs> uh, sorry. Uh, no issue. So, what kind of verbiage did you put in your contract to, be, to force your contractors? to adhere to this? I thought somebody might ask me that. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I didn't get the verbiage. But it is in the contract they abide by the safety rules and regulations, and I don't have the exact verbiage. And, and I'll just kind of volunteer here. If you're looking for that, we have several companies that are 100% independent contractors. Mm -hmm. That's in their contracts. We can get that information for you if it's if you're, you're curious about that. I know at Admiral we had the disburgeon that they had to abide by any company policy. So if it was company policy that certain that safety training had to be done, then that would cover it. Yeah, that's what I have in mind now. I'm just I'm a little concerned about with the contractor side that you actually say you have to do this on the legal side with employee employer right. relationship, but then FMCSA trumps that by because it's a requirement. Yes, well, you know, owner operators are running under your authority, your responsibility. I understand for everything that. Yeah. I understand that. But there's a couple lawyers in New Jersey that don't understand. <laughs> yeah. And we have some contractors that run under a fleet, and we deal with the fleet owner, not the actual driver, for that reason, too, yes. because the employee. Sure. So we have some of that, too. We have both. Where it's, they run under their tags, our insurance, mm -hmm. and by searching on their own. Yeah. If they're running under your insurance, and as far as the court's concerned, they're your employee and your sure. responsibility. Yeah. yeah. And then we have others that don't. They run under their tags, their insurance. So, most of the companies. So, it's actually broken yeah. for it. Sort of. Yeah. And so we, all, we have a separate brokerage deal yeah. that just won't care. And I'll say, and I, I don't have the exact verbatim, but it's, it talks to about, about doing mandatory safety training. Correct. And it doesn't really go much further than that. Mm -hmm. And so that's <coughs> kind of the gray area that you're, you're left into. Yeah. But uh, I know that they gave them, the company I'm thinking of is out of Illinois, and they gave them a choice to come in for a safety meeting or do the online, and they went online. Oh, yeah. Right. Uh, so it was a choice for the contractor. And, they chose online and eventually phased out the in-person meeting and everything's 100% online as far as their recurrent training goes. Um, so, Bill, just, you know, you mentioned that they were doing it, you had computer stations set up. Uh, today, how are they accessing the training? 
Well, they're actually going online through their tablets and their uh, cell phones. Their, uh, some of the cell phones are just tablets, but they're utilizing there and at home. Uh, and then we still have a computer set up at the terminal for them. Do you have any kind of support set up if any of the drivers have any questions of how to log into the system or anything of that nature? Uh, yes, we do. Um, the, the instructions are pretty right on. I mean, they're pretty self-explanatory, though. Occasionally, we'll have someone question as far as the signing process, but we do utilize your resource page and, and the sign-in page. It's okay. pretty self-explanatory. As far as the training, are you doing it with just your drivers, or is there other areas that your dispatchers, mechanics, anything like that? Yes, we do. We uh, assign the same modules that we do our drivers to our dispatch team, and then we also have them assigned to our office personnel. Are you are you creating your own content, or are you solely using Vertical Alliance Group content? We uh, have some content that we built uh, when we first started up. Actually, we utilize uh, vertical alliances models more than anything right now. The purpose of my visit here is to uh, get the online, the self custom content developed. Perfect. And then, just last couple questions here for me is um, what kind of results have you seen so far using the program? We, as I said, we began in April of 2011. Um, of course, CSA was just getting in full swing. Uh, when it first rolled out, we were in the 90 percentile rankings in unsafe driving and hours of service. Um, when we started with uh, Burke Alliance Group, we were running in the 80s in both. Um, utilizing this, I believe has helped us to get to our CSA numbers where they're at today, and uh, those are very respectable at uh, 24 and 28, respectively. Awesome. Wow. Uh, P, P also on the CSA is we were in the 80 percentile in you know, crash indicator. And having a report with uh, utilizing vertical lines and several other measures in-house, we've actually gone down to 19. Wow. So I believe if we hadn't done the online training, it would have been much higher results right now. And it was progressive. Uh, you, I mean, you can go and look, but progressively better. So we went on. Have you, have you received any kind of feedback from your drivers on the videos, uh, whether they like them, don't like them, any kind of feedback whatsoever? You're always going to have the ones that don't, but I will tell you that we have a lot of drivers that are very happy with them. Um, they look forward to the assignments each month, but you're always going to have those for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have one other question. Is there any other questions before we let him off the hot seat, so to speak? No. So how has how using the Infinity program impacted your job? I still have a job. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? 90 percentile when CSA 2010 rolled out. No, it's uh, it has actually eased my job. I mean, I have someone that handles that and, and assigns the, the, the modules each month. Uh, I do the modules just like the drivers do every month, and I, I I believe in the system myself, and I do believe that it is better me in my position as director of safety having gone through this process i would recommend i have one question yes sir uh well i have a couple for you that's you fine that's just make sure no i actually <laughs> uh, how did your insurance carrier how do they feel about this whole process uh, our insurance safety manager he uh, is actually recommending me to attend the workshop even though we've been a customer for a very long time. He was in attendance a few months back, mm -hmm. and he saw the incredible value, and he said, Bill, you have to go. Uh, Lynn Redinger. Okay. Yeah. Good. So you got a couple of... 
Well, you know, figuring out how I'm afraid. Of my... <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Somebody else. I want to know how much we're paying you. <laughs> Am I being paid? <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Uh, I'm, I'm pleased to do it. When, when I, when I, actually, when Pam sent the email, I wanted to know if I would consider it. I believe my exact response was absolutely. Uh, as far as I know, there was no pay though. Without telling us uh, what the costs were, are you, is it financially uh, advantageous to do vertical alliance versus pro trip? Absolutely, absolutely. I can tell you that one. Price one. Absolutely. Yeah. You are too easy. Yeah. I don't expect <laughs> a tougher question. Do you, do you right. use it for remedial training as well? Oh, we do. Yes. We use it for corrective action training and remedial. Do you have the pre orientation portion we that do. they were talking about? We do. Have you found that to be successful? Yes. We Especially with contractors? We have a um, welcome video from the owner of the company, and that seems to go a long way. Yeah. All right. Good job, well done. Wow. That's good. Thank All you. Right. Thank you, Bill. Thank you very much.